Hi everybody, this is Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guide to Adobe Premiere Rush. And this is part one of a five-part series we're calling Basic Training with Premiere Rush. We just want to take a look at the program, take a look at the basics of how it works, show you a couple tips and tricks, and just get you started with the program. It is a program that is very intuitive and easy to learn. You may not need any basic training at all, but it also runs fairly deep, and there are some cool hidden gems in there if you look deep enough. When you first launch the program, you get to this media browser screen where you can see all of the projects that are in the works. We'll take a look at how to open a work in progress or how to change the settings for it a little bit later in the course. But to start out, let's create a new project. When we click on create a new project, the program switches to a media browser mode. On my left, I see my device and all of its drives and main folders. I also see connections to Creative Cloud files, OneDrive, if I've got uh, a Mac, it might be iCloud, and then a list of favorites. Now to get to a folder on my hard drive, all I need to do is just browse to it. And when I do, the browser opens up into, it shows me my media files. It also shows me folders and I can browse deeper by going into those folders. Now, if I don't want to have to dig and dig and dig through all of my files here, or all of the directories on my computer to get to a certain file, I can make the folder it's in a favorite. To do that, I just browse that particular folder, in this case, 1989. And if I click on this little star next to 1989, it makes it a favorite. And this folder now appears down here in the lower left-hand corner. You can see I've got a number of favorites. And next time, I want to browse to it, all I need to do is click on my favorite and it jumps right to the folder. So that said, I'm going to jump over here to the video editing favorite folder. I'm just going to grab some files in here. Now notice as I click on the files, a number appears on them. That number is not a chronological number, it's the number of the selection. In other words, selection number one, two, three. I can do that through several directories or folders. You notice I'm up to number four here, I can go to say this folder, and I can grab more media and you notice it starts with five, six. This is the order that these files are going to show up, these video clips are going to show up on my timeline. And you can see them down here in the lower left hand corner. Right above those little thumbnails is a place where I can name my project. I recommend you name a project so that you don't have a bunch of projects named untitled. And we'll just call this one Vacation. And then when I go over here to the lower right and click on Create, the program opens up into the editing mode. Now it prepares my media first, and I'm telling you this program has taken so far everything I've thrown at it, action cam footage, phone footage, camcorder footage, standard resolution, high resolution, 4K, pretty much anything this program works with well. And once it's done, my media appears in the order I selected it here on my timeline. I can change the order of it just by dragging it around. But that gets into the category of editing, and that's what we're going to look at in part two of our five-part series. I'm Steve Grizzetti. Hope you'll stay with me for the whole five parts. See you soon.